Hello, this is Dr. Amin Marashi, Retina Specialist in Marashi Eye Clinic in Aleppo, Syria. I am presenting the course of OCT for macular diseases. In the previous presentation, I discussed pachycori. In this presentation, I will discuss OCT's clinical applications in pathological myopia. Spectral domain OCT has difficulties in capturing high-quality images for high myopic patients due to the laser beam's short wavelength. Thus, pathological myopia best studied with OCT using swift source OCT. However, OCT is a necessary test to assess pathological changes at the macula in patients with pathological myopia, which showed the following characteristics. Changes in retinal contours, one of the most common pathological myopia that features several patterns, such as straight sclera with curvature slope toward the optic nerve. Concave shape, symmetrical on both sides of the sclera curve posteriorly, symmetrically around the fovea, which appear more posteriorly curved in cases of staphyloma, or asymmetrical around the fovea or irregular curvature. Rarely, the macula looks convex, creating dome-shaped myopic maculopathy, which may be associated with subretinal hyporeflective spaces. In diffuse chorioretinal atrophy, the chorea thinned, and maybe only a large choroidal vessel remains under the RPE. In patchy chorioretinal atrophy, the chorea is absent along with the photoreceptor layer and RPE, and only sclera and inner retinal tissue are available. In myopic choroidal neovascularization, there would be a subretinal hyperreflective material that may have minimal or may not show signs of exudation, such as subretinal or intraretinal fluids. Thus, OCT can differentiate the subretinal bleeding from choroidal neovascular membrane. However, this case shows subretinal hyperreflective material with minimal subretinal fluids. OCT is important to assess treatment efficacy for cardiac neovascularization or progression post follow-up. As shown in this example where myopic patient complicated with choroidal neovascular membrane without subretinal fluids and the other cross section shows regression of choroidal neovascular membrane post treatment with intravitreal VGF blockade agents. OCT is the tool of choice to diagnose the presence of vitreo macular abnormalities such as epiretal membrane, which appears as hyperreflective band causing traction at the arcade or at the center of the macula causing myopic traction maculopathy, leading to foam cystoid macular changes mostly in the inner retinal layers in tubular form inducing schesis, where in severe cases lamellar or for full thickness holes, however, in some severe cases a macular detachment may present. OCT is important for post-surgical evaluation to assess the release of macular traction. Thank you for listening. I hope you find this information useful in your daily clinical practice. Please stay tuned for the next presentation where I will talk about OCT's clinical application in hereditary diseases.